What's up guys? Welcome to Instagram Marketing Secrets episode 96. On today's episode, we are going to be creating an automated organic sales funnel on Instagram. We're going to be doing so uh, by combining Instagram with email marketing and I'm going to show you guys how to do it from scratch. So if you like this episode, if you're listening on the podcast and you want to implement it later, you can watch this with me on YouTube or if you're at home and you can switch right now, you can go ahead and click the link in the description and go ahead and, and watch along with me on YouTube as I create an email opt-in page and really help you guys through this process so you can see exactly how you would do it, some examples of the emails that you would send because this is the recap interview oh i always say that the recap episode of the interview with uh jules dan and that was the last podcast episode 95 where we talk about the importance of email marketing in combination with social media and how it plays in and a lot of email strategies how to get people to open it things like that and today we're going to show you like i'm going to show you like how to implement it that's what these recap episodes are always for is all right so you liked what that person had to say now just implement it with me and by the end of this episode if you watch along with on youtube especially you should be able to pause and then create your uh entire email sequence and your whole funnel by the end of this All right, guys, so we are in my computer. I am in ConvertKit, and that is what I'm going to be showing you how to do this on today because it is going to be the cheapest option if you are starting from scratch, and it's a great option even if you already have a website and things like that, but this is for people, even if you don't have a website at all, if you've never done email marketing at all, if you are just looking to take your Instagram to the next level by building an actual business that doesn't just exist on Instagram, you have come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to do this with no website required because with ConvertKit, you can create landing pages. Uh, for those of you who have listened to the show, I'm also a big fan of ActiveCampaign. And ActiveCampaign um, does have certain metrics as far as email deliverability goes that I do like more than ConvertKit. However, you can't create opt-in and landing pages just from here itself so you have to have a website and if you're just looking to i just want to get into email marketing now i want to create some kind of organic sales funnel i want my instagram to make me money this is going to be an awesome episode for you i can't stress that enough uh, but go ahead and uh i just want to make sure you listen to the whole thing because you are in the right place my friend um so what we're going to do here is i went up to landing page and forms in convert kit and uh this has a free month trial by the way and then after that their basic plan is 29 bucks a month but if you click the link in the bio you can get a free month it is an affiliate link so you'll be supporting the show but i don't care either way if you don't want a free month then just don't use the link um, but you'll get a free month too and you can create this so you can see how you like it and then it's 29 bucks a month so my goal with this episode is to teach you how you can start making more than 29 bucks a month right away um, from what we're going to send up set up uh, so we're going to create a landing page then just click whichever one that you like the look of i personally am just going to do this one for the sake of today's podcast episode and what we're going to do is we're going to create a mock-up landing page. I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty details of it, but we're making it for a company that would be, or a, a coach that is trying to sell like mindset coaching, all right? So it's a coach that is just like a general life coach, and they've got their Instagram, and they got their followers, and they make DMs sometimes randomly that says, hey, if you want to coach with me shoot me a dm but it never really gets you sales and you don't get emails and it doesn't build your business so uh this would be a great thing to do if you're in that position um but we're gonna do this like i said for selling um a uh It's going to be some kind of coaching package where you work with me for like three months, we're going to say, is what we're going to be selling in the end. It's going to be a coaching package where it's bi-weekly calls one-on-one -on -one for three months, and they're going to try to sell it for 2500 bucks. Okay, so this is how I would do that. So on my landing page here, I added the first name to this uh 
this box here. So they have to fill in first name and email address. I do prefer to get both. At the minimum, you just need email. But then I'm gonna go over on the right side here and click that it's required field. For the headline, what we're gonna do for what we're gonna give for free, here's just a couple ideas. You could give like a free 30 minute call right away. And that, that's a great idea. Another thing you could do is a free ebook. The, another thing would be a free video series. So let's say that with this mindset coaching, the people that we're trying to attract are people that are at a low point in their life. They uh, Maybe they just got in a breakup, they just lost their job, they hate the job they're in and they want to get into a new job. They're at a big turning phase of their life and that's where you come in that you really help people keep the right mindset during this time. So we could make a three-day video challenge series where the first day uh, we discover the main thing that's holding them back. The second day we're going to discover um, you know, how you personally work as a person and how to get yourself motivated and stay motivated. And then the third day we're going to create your action plan for how to stay out, like get out of it and keep out of it. And that would be like a three-day like video series that you could give to someone and that's probably what we'll create because I like that idea. Um, other ideas of course would be like uh, an ebook that is the seven, the seven biggest stressors for Americans in 2020 and how if you overcome these, the year is going to be a lot easier. We're really going to try to give people exactly what they want is really what we're doing here. So don't get stuck on, oh, I want to do a video series. I want to do an ebook. Don't let that be what defines your free lead magnet here. Think, what do my customers really want? And then create whatever that is. All right, but it's helpful to know what any of these templates for these free things could be because it could be right to a free call. It could be um, attend my free webinar, which could be automated or live, and you could do like a live webinar. Um, someone I was helping recently, she does uh, yoga, like she's a yoga teacher and she's trying to do online yoga and she does a free class. Um, and those free classes are live. So they do have to sign up and they give their name and email to sign up to be a part of the free yoga class. And then once it comes along, they get all the emails reminding them about it. And that's really hard to do on Instagram because then you're just posting to all these people, hey, reminder, it starts in an hour to people who are, aren't necessarily signed up. And the people that are signed up are maybe not even seeing your story post because you don't have that level of engagement with them and it's just story number 10 for them so they don't see it. So that's why we really wanna be able to multiple channel market to people and have a base uh, and an audience in a couple different locations. Um, so uh, another thing could be a, a challenge, as I kind of alluded to, like I do a seven day content challenge. It's like a free email opt-in for me and it's just giving you guys free value. I'll link that in the description if you have any interest in looking at that for the sake of seeing how I run it or if you wanna partake in the seven day content challenge, which is basically um, a series of emails over the seven days that uh, give you some extra information to help your post trend. And uh, it's got some goals and some prizes that you can win and stuff like that. So I'll link it in the description in case you guys want to see another example of how I've been able to do this in the past. Just giving away something for free in exchange for an email and then we're gonna give an automated sales sequence that tries to close them on some certain offer and it does have end dates to it and because everyone's going through their individual sales funnel with individual closing dates that's how we can create an automated uh, sales funnel just organically through our Instagram bio um, but this is why it's really important to get the emails because then you can have everyone on their own automations with like the closing dates for the sales and stuff like that being separate for people. Now, just to allude, like every once in a while, someone's like, yeah, is it ethical that they get different times? Absolutely. You need to understand if you don't give people an end date to buy something, they will not buy it. And if your product is better for them than their money is for them, which you probably believe so if you're working for the company that you are, then it is your moral obligation to sell it to them. And it does not do them any good to say, just buy it whenever, because they're just going to forget about it. And they probably would um, 
be really happy with your product if they bought it. So just know like it's okay to close people. And yes, the sale is over that day for that person. It doesn't have to be the same end date for everyone all the time. We can give people individual sales end dates where the offer expires for you and really hold to that. Like if they message you after say, hey, the offer expired and you can be like, I'm sorry. It, it's not on anymore. Like you can totally hold to that um, just so you be totally ethical in this. <laughs> you can do whatever you want in that, that situation, but just know it is fine to give people individual end dates for their sales. And that's what we're going to do here. So let's say that we're going to do the three day video challenge series to um, help conquer their mindset. Because the way that a coach attract someone to be a paying client by giving away free information is by the end of your free information, they should uh, um, achieve some kind of result. So they, they need to know that you can guide them from point A to point B in order to want to work with you further. Um, for instance, I also did a seven day paid Instagram content challenge for 47 bucks. And I had like, uh, probably about 20 people right around there do that challenge because I just ran it over a short period of time. And of the 20 people who did that challenge, there were two of them at the end of it that invested in one of my higher tier programs because they knew from spending the money on that $47 program and going through the whole thing, they're like, oh dang, he knows how to take us from point A to point B and now I believe in the promise of his bigger offers. Um, and they're now in those bigger offers doing great with it. And it just gives a way for people to trust you. Okay, so know that that is going to come into play here when you're designing this page and deciding what you want it to be. You need to think how much do they need to trust you in order to buy if you're selling an e commerce product, they just need to have enough value in the product and then see some positive reviews and you're good. If they're about to invest like 50 grand with coaching with you for like a two years, they would have to trust you so much at that point. So know that start with the end offer in mind and it will also help allude to what this free uh, lead magnet should be because we need to make sure that we bridge the gap in education and bridge the gap in trust by the end of it so they are likely to buy our offer. So we're gonna do a three day video series for conquering mindset, okay? Um, three day video challenge. So I'm writing the uh, headline for the email opt-in page right now. Three, <laughs> come on, three day video challenge to conquer negative mindset for good, dot, dot, dot. Then underneath that, I'm going to think, what would be their major objection to this? They'd say, well, I don't know how much time I have over the next three days. Then you'd say 15 minute videos each day for three days and then live happier for the rest of your life. Boom. What am I doing? I'm communicating the main result that this is going to get them because in order, everyone has a value on their time and uh, usually people who are wealthier are just gonna naturally value it more. Um, so we need to just assume that, yeah, if we're gonna attract like really high quality clients, the amount that you have to sell them on participating in your free stuff is usually very high because they're like, if you're like Tony Robbins or you're just uh, you're uh, someone in political office and you got like a lot to do on your plate for something to all of a sudden take up some of your free time, it has to be super important. So just know that really need you really need to sell them on this email opt in. Um, and that's why just saying like subscribe to our newsletter doesn't really work anymore nowadays. And, it, and it's never going to come back either. So three day video video challenge to conquer negative mindset for good 15 minute videos videos each day for three days and then live happier for the rest of your life. Now it, I am maybe over promising for what you could deliver. I'm not saying over promise even if it's total BS. I'm saying figure out what is truly going to come from what you're giving them and then like really 
you know oversell on the the thing that you actually are going to do for them not just make up bs so um get started now um exclamation mark don't delay on the rest of your life don't delay on living happy this this is here for you now this is here to help you now all right boom selling it first name email they get they then it says get a free ebook so in this case they're going to get the uh the three challenge so the three-day video challenge. Now, with the actual button, a lot of people like to be like, subscribe or something like that. You're, again, want, wanting to sell them on the main result in the button itself, the button that they actually subscribe. So um, let's do like, yes, exclamation mark. I'm ready to start now. I'm ready to start now, exclamation mark. Boom, that's a good button. Um, now what we got going on so I'm um, looking on ConvertKit on the right sidebar here. It says, do you want to send an incentive email? What an incentive email is, is once someone subscribes, they get an email that uh, they need to open and then click the link and confirm it. I don't personally like to do that, so I don't send that incentive email. Um, some of the other stats here. So that's for the SEO. I'm not going to get into that. Custom domain, you can go ahead and put whatever domain you want. Otherwise, the cool thing with ConvertKit is, like I said, if you don't have an, uh, a, a website already or a domain purchased, you're just going to be able to use uh, their domain and put this in your uh, your your bio link. Um, but the other thing you can do too, if it gives you a re really weird link, like for instance, when I actually go to previewing this page, it's going to be like a weird link, right? Um, but I can just make a bit.ly, a B-I-T dot L-Y, um, that links to this that I can be like bit.ly. For me, I'd be like slash IGM secrets and you can make it match up with your brand so they know it's your actual link they're about to click on. So let's just say that I'm going to leave it here. Um, name the form pretty simple and I'm just going to go ahead and click save and publish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a sequence. So a sequence is just, all right, once someone enters your form, they're going to go to this sequence. So we're gonna go name it um, organic sales funnel. And now what we're gonna do is create the first email that they instantly get. So that first email, is going to contain whatever free thing we're giving them. Or so in this case, it's the three day video challenge. We're gonna make it be day number one. So just to give you a couple other examples before I just dive in on this one completely and not even worry about other examples. Let's say I was doing uh, like, I was looking at popular products right now and it's like pet products are really popular as they always are. And one of the top selling cat items is a self-cleaning litter box. So let's say I was trying to give some kind of ebook to sell that. Then your process might look like download this guide on the seven ways uh, to make sure that your cat doesn't ruin your house. Okay, something like that. And they're like, oh, I, I just got a cat. I need to read this. I got to make sure they don't ruin my house. And it talks about you can put this on your couch. You can put tin foil on the uh, on the counters because when they jump on the tin foil, they're going to get trained not to do that and they're going to jump off. You can just give all these little tips that are truly valuable information. And then maybe that last tip says get a automatic cat litter box. And, um, and then it links to your cat litter box. And maybe you even affiliate market some of the other products that you mentioned uh, within that guide. That would be this first thing that you would give them. And then your next couple follow-up emails would be like, hey, did you read the whole guide? Did you see what number seven was? If not, click here to reread the guide. Then you would follow up and be like, 
hey, just so you know, the cat litter box is on sale for the next three days. Then uh, two days later, you say it's closing in 48 hours. Then you say it's closing in 24. You say it's closing in four hours for good. And then that would be your sales sequence on a product. That would be like an ebook that leads to then selling your offer. But we promote our offer and then we give a due date on it. And that's really the last component that's necessary to creating this organic sales funnel is a urgency end date that doesn't just talk about your offer. It talks about it and then it tries to close them. So in this email, for this offer, the three day video challenge, where it's going to end with me trying to sell a coaching package, uh, a, a three month coaching package for weekly uh, one on one calls. All right, day number one, finding the problem. Finding the root of the problem, all right? I'm not gonna write the whole email because this is just gonna be way too long of a video and that would be just, a separate topic to cover. What I will tell you is that the format of your email should just be, the main things that are gonna matter is your subject is, is has to have a really strong pull to it so that they even open it in the first place. The goal of the subject is not to sell the link click within the email. The goal of the subject is to sell them on opening the email at all. Then what you wanna do, as you can see here, is there's spacing in between the lines. You don't write in paragraph bulky format. You can do uh, subheadlines, you can do bullet points, you can do a uh, just a space between each line that you talk, you can do like a lot of dot, dot, dots. You're gonna really want to try to talk to people in a way that you're telling a story so that they read it. And we're, what I like to do is after I write the email, then I send myself a test because it's a lot easier to be that test accountability for yourself when you are reading it on your phone. Like, I know it sounds weird. It like seems like, why isn't it the same thing when you just read the email on the uh, platform that is creating the email, but it's, it's better to put yourself in the customer's shoes, how they're gonna read it and send yourself a test email and look at it and see how it appears on mobile, especially, and make sure that your images and all that come through. Now, don't use more than two images in your emails um, is a, a simple tip. Like, yeah, I might break it rarely, but, um, Companies send emails with lots of images, personal people don't. So it's just easier to get picked up by a spam filter if you use a lot of uh, Im uh, images and then it's easy if you use a lot of links. So I don't use more than two links and I don't use more than two images, um, but you would just provide value and then you're gonna just say, click the link here to watch day one. And then you could even host this for free on YouTube and just set the video to private that only people with the link can see it just so it really is you know, a hidden challenge that people have to give you their email to get access to. Um, and then go from there. I'm gonna click on add email here. It's gonna be after one day. And then I'm gonna call this one day number two, um, finding your inner motivation. And then you're gonna be like, blah, 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 blah. Here's how to find your inner motivation. Um, I'm just gonna move along from there, guys, because the main goal of this is to show you the how to creating yours. Um, but I, I can only give so many examples without just getting too off topic because only so many of you are in this exact uh, market of coaching and some of you are more in like e-commerce or selling anything. So just ask yourself, one, what knowledge do people need to know before they are able to buy my offer? Two, what do they really want to know and what are they really struggling with? Because if you don't create your guide around that, they're not gonna download it in the first place. And then the third thing is how much trust do I have to build with someone before they're okay investing with me? If it's a product, it's not nearly as much as if you're a coach. And then the more expensive your coaching is, the more trust that would need to be built, which means that you're maybe gonna have to warm them up more. So like if I was a coach that needed to build a lot of trust in someone, I'm gonna do a free 30 minute call before I even try to sell something, right? And that's what I'm gonna do in this right now. This is gonna be a coach that needs a decent amount of trust because they're trying to sell a three month package. So day three, it's gonna be like, um, mapping out a plan that you can stay consistent with.
Notice how I'm not being boring with my titles. I'm not like mapping out your plan, mapping out a plan that you can stay consistent with because they've probably already made a plan in the past, but they're not doing it, obviously. Otherwise, they wouldn't have downloaded this guide. So I'm going to speak to that. And you have to know your customers really well to be able to do this. Now, let's say that after the video, video challenge, um, I'm I do like challenge complete. Here are the results okay something like that and then you say you can say here's a little quiz for yourself to see how you did um, blah 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 if you answered two of them yes then you got three points you can do something like that like it just really give them what they want and truly help them um, but let's say that I'm doing challenge complete here are the results as my subject they're gonna open it up um, then I'm gonna give them some little tips and a, a little recap on what they did and then at the end I'm gonna say as a thank you, this would be at the end, even though I'm writing it uh, on the beginning of this video. As a thank you for completing the challenge and sticking to your word, I have a gift for you. You can book a free 30 minute strategy call with me personally one on one to discuss how the challenge went for you and what questions you may have on moving forward with a healthier, happier you. On this call, we will cover colon, and then I'm going down the line, bullet point, which is option eight, if you want a key to doing bullet point quicker. On this call, we will cover why did you take the challenge in the first place? What goal were you hoping to accomplish? Did you feel you were able to accomplish that goal? And why not? And if, if not, why not? For Fourth bullet point is going to be what do you, th what else is the fourth bullet point will be let's conquer the remaining barriers that may remain between where you are and where you want to be together. So I'm like alluding to the fact that we might be talking about working together in the future there, but I'm also like, it's still what they want and it is what we're going to talk about. And that would kind of be a good structure for that 30 minute call. And a lot of times guys, when I give out free, free calls, like I did like a free 20 minute call recently for people interested in uh, my university and <laughs> they all were like 40 something minutes. So like I usually, I, I'm on the call till it's done. And I would just tell you guys, if you're gonna do some kind of free call thing, just promote it as like a small time window so that they come in with the mindset of we're going to move quick on this. We're not going to dilly dally. We're not going to be on for an hour or we're not going to try to be on for an hour because then we'll be on for an hour and a half. But if we try to be on 20 minutes, then we'll be on for 20 minutes at best or like 30 or 40 uh, at you know, if it goes slower, uh, but it usually is going to be longer that you're on the call than this time that you're promising these free windows. So make sure if you know, especially if you're trying to sell something at the end, then don't have your calls lined up one after another, like 30 minutes apart. Cause if in case someone needs an extra 10 minutes to talk over what your offer is with you, you want to be able to do that and not be like, here, I'll call you after this next call because they're already going to lose interest by then. You want to stick with them and be able to give everyone enough attention. Um, so yeah, then it would be just another call to action at the bottom. 
um, book your call here, link, and sincerely, your name. All right? And then what we're going to do, so let's say that I'm doing, like, that's the challenge complete, and they're going to get it the day after. Then what I'm going to do is probably fall, make another email that happens three days after uh, to really get those people who didn't open that previous email to see that they you get a free call. Did you see, so in this subject line, it's going to say, did you see the free gift I gave away for completing the challenge? Um, I'm going to get rid of the word free, by the way, because that makes it get picked up by spam. And I did it in this email too. You can book a no cost. No cost does not get picked up. No cost 30 minute strategy call with me. I don't like to say free though, because I'll, I'll, like a certain percentage of filters will pick that up. Did you see the gift I gave away for completing the challenge? All right, then we're going to try to get the rest of the people. We're going to be like, blah, 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 blah. You can book, and I'm going to say the same benefits because this is going to be an email for people who probably, people who already opened the last email and saw it probably won't open this one. People who did not uh, re open the previous email are going to be the ones opening this one. So I'm going to probably list all these bullet points again on, like on this call we're going to cover, but you can book your call here. Spots are limited and sign up must be done. Must be done in all caps by the end of this week. Okay, and what I'm going to try to do is just close them on you know the booking the call through the these last two emails. They already went through the challenge. Hopefully, they now trust me as a coach because I was able to promise them a result in three days. And then if I did my job right, I got them there. Then what I'm doing, because I'm going to, if you're trying to sell like a three month coaching plan, um, you're going to want to get them on the phone first because that's too much financial commitment to just ask for in an email and close at the rate you want to. You might close some people, but there will be so many people that would be closable had you talked to them that it would be more worth it for your business to talk to them. If I was trying to sell them on a video course after where it's, do you want days four to 10 of this same video series for 20 bucks? I don't have to get on the call with them. I can sell that as my next thing in here. And just know there's so many different ways you can do it. But as soon as you start visualizing, all right, let me just see how a sales funnel would look for my um, my business. And then like, all right, not just what am I selling, but how would I walk a customer through the steps that they would need to buy? And now how would I convert someone who is completely cold traffic through these processes to then buying from me? That's what we're trying to do. And that's what we're trying to accomplish by having this as our bio link, as this organic uh, uh, sales funnel, rather than, oh yeah, they'll follow me and eventually they'll just click the link and buy with no sale, with no ending date of the sale or discount or any kind of specialized um, you know, uh, attention or, or access to you if need be to really selling your offer. Like you need to know what would actually be necessary to sell my offer um, for someone who does not know you at all to then buying from you. What is everything that needs to be covered? And that's what we're trying to cover through the process of our sales funnels. And that's how you create an automated online business, guys. So this is basically the end of this um, little series that I put together. They're going to get to the link link to the call. And then what I'd probably do is one more and I would do um, five days after and I'd say last chance to get your I'm going to I think free is a little more okay in your email subject line than it is in your email. But last chance to get your free 30 minute Call. I'm going to use it on the last one because I'm like, this is my last ditch effort uh, to get these people to do it. So like five days after last chance to get your free 30 minute call. And this would be a series where you are trying to close them on that call because otherwise you would want some kind of follow up after, but you say, Hey, like it's just something that I do for while we're on the call today. If you did want to book it, um, it's normally 9,000, but since you're on the call with me today, you can get it for 4,500. If you are willing to sign up right now, you're going to do something like that. Okay. Not, not tomorrow, not whatever. You're going to close them on it.
it on that call because now you've guided them through a three-day video series then you've given them some emails after to show them that you're still there for them then you gave them a 30-minute free call and then you're going to figure out what their goals are and see if you're a good fit and then you're going to try to close them at the end of the call now all of a sudden your instagram bio and your instagram account is working for you it's trying to drive you business and again this is exactly what you should do for every business on instagram like this is one of the best things that your instagram bio link can be uh just when you're not running a sale or a giveaway or something else you can just have it sitting there so that you can be driving sales and building an audience off platform at all times so guys that concludes today's episode uh, again if you would like to uh get convert kit you can sign up at the link in the description and get your first month for free and then it's 29 bucks a month after that if you keep it you'll be able to create your opt-in page you'll be able to host all of your emails in here and you'll be able to sync synchronize everything which i actually do need to show you so the last thing you need to do is save all your emails right there you click on save all then you come over to here to the automation tab and then we're just going to link everything together so i'm going to click on new automation and then I'm going to go to create automation and then we're going to say when they join a form. Um, so I don't remember what, oh yeah, it was, the, it was the centennial landing page. So you're just going to find the name of your landing page and say, all right, when that event happens, then the next thing that's going to happen is they go to the email sequence and then you're just going to go ahead and click your email sequence. I don't know which, oh, there it is, organic sales funnel, add action. And you're good like it's really that simple then you just have to turn on um, that automation and then it's just gonna make it that anyone who opts into this form in this landing page now then goes to your uh, sequence of emails and it's super simple to set up um, but that would be the last thing that you need to do guys and then you just need to throw that link uh, as your Instagram bio and then just make sure it works just test it and uh, make sure that you get that first email and uh, if you get the first email then you can know that the follow-up emails are gonna work uh, and then now you have a automated organic sales process that guess what if it works you can start running paid traffic to it but i wanted to put this episode together because a lot of you need to start thinking of your business in this way rather than just posting to find a random audience and not guiding them through a sales process customers need to be held by the hand throughout your entire sales process if you're really looking to start driving online sales so thanks for listening guys and i will see you next week